Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 14, and this is war number six, and we're going up against an alliance called Project Centipede. All right, so I'm going in with my standard team. I've already scouted out my path. I've looked at who I'm gonna have to fight, and I believe that these three should be able to handle it no problem. So in section one, I take path one all the time. That is a starburst path. Now I saw this Mr. Sinister, but Gladiator Hulk, not only is he a great option for path one, the best in my opinion, but he's also a very good counter for Mr. Sinister. Uh, one of the things that you wanna do when you're fighting Mr. Sinister with Gladiator Hulk is fire off that special one, do the heal block, and then you can go in and do some damage. Now, in addition to that, Gladiator Hulk gets face me because of the starburst. So he's gonna be doing a lot more damage and he's gonna heal up most of the damage that he takes. Now you see there, I messed up, right? And look at this, he's hitting me, but look at his health. That is why Gladiator Hulk, in my opinion, is the best. I would not be looking this good if it was on another path with Gladiator Hulk and that happened. So I love this path. I love my Gladiator Hulk for it. And as you can see, we were able to take down Mr. Sinister without really any difficulty. Still finished the fight despite the fact that we messed up. Still finished the fight with almost full health. So the next one is Green Goblin. Now, Green Goblin can be very annoying. Uh, in the past, I've had it where I can evade his special two easily, and then they did something, and I was no longer able to evade his special two. Well, now I can evade his special two without uh, any difficulty here. Uh, but the memory of that is still fresh in my mind, so I'm a little bit tense and so I try not to push him to his special two if I can help it. All right, but you see here, I did it. And here we go. And I got hit. Now, that was all my fault. Uh, what happened there? And just look, I was getting wrecked. But look at his health. In any other situation, if I did not have face me active, I would have been over and done with. But what happened there, the new AI will intercept you with a special. That's something new that they're doing. I hate it, but it is a thing. And that's what you saw there. He caught me with an intercept. I was trying to bait out that special too. And I went to basically attack once and dash immediately back. I've done that before, but in this case, it didn't work. I did the quick attack, evaded back, but he intercepted, and there was no way I could recover. All right, so I normally take path two in section two here. Now you see me paused. That's because someone took my path. I was not happy about that at all, um, but it is what it is, and I saw which path needed to be taken. And so I went ahead and took this path. Now, I don't have a problem fighting Omega Red. I don't usually take this path, so I am a little bit unfamiliar. I'm looking at the buffs that I have to deal with here. Now, here is something about Gladiator Hulk. Gladiator Hulk will get face me when facing Omega Red if he has that aura up. So I was thinking, of fighting Omega Red with Gladiator Hulk, but I was not gonna heal. And I said, you know what? Let me just go on with Starkey. Starkey has more health. All right, and you see here, he's gone unblockable. Uh, that's the node. Very annoying, but easy to play around. It doesn't last very long, and you have a nice long cooldown. And you can see here, I'm just ripping him apart. He's got another unblockable, but I baited out the special. So it's all good and he's down. Starkey just tore him up. If you know how to fight Omega Red, uh, it's not a big deal, all right? So down he went, even though this isn't my path. And next fight is Sabretooth. Now I've gotten wrecked by Sabretooth in the past. 
he can be a very difficult opponent. But Starkey, once again, comes to the rescue. So on Awakened Sabretooth, you'll notice that he's starting to get these uh, regen uh, buffs. So the longer the fight goes on, the more he's going to heal. Look at that, he's healing like 636. Uh, Look at this, he's up to almost a thousand. All right, now he's over a thousand, you know, healing. But Starkey can overpower it. All right, so you see right here, I put some debuffs on him and I run max despair. So when I fired my special two off, I put those shock debuffs that reduced his healing even further. And of course, Starkey is doing crazy amounts of damage. So I was able to out damage that regen. Uh, but you want to be careful about that. I have gotten wrecked and it was not pretty. All right. So those are the buffs that you would have to deal with if you were to go up against this node. But I did not. I was just taking a look. And when I came back, they had already cleared it, which was good. I'm not familiar with that node and I was not about to try that for the first time right now. So as you can see, I went on and I said, well, my champions are relatively healthy and I likes to fight. And Domino, I know I can beat Domino with my Starkey, but I hate fighting her because of the critical failures and I'm running suicide, so I'm taking damage there and Starkey is not bleed immune, so the crit failures are going to wreck his health. All right. But I said, well, I probably have the best chance at her uh, for a one shot. I looked around. I looked at everyone else's health and I saw the champions that they were uh, bringing in. And Starkey, he is not the best for her, but he can handle it. All right. So. As you see, she's immune to bleed and poison on this node. It doesn't matter. Uh, Starkey doesn't do either of those. So here we go. Now, the thing with fighting her, and I probably should have built up my poise charges a little bit more, but because I have blade, I start with three. But trying to build poise charges with her is very, very annoying. And you can get crit failed and you just get wrecked trying to build your poise charges up. So I pretty much just kind of fight her. Now you see how she's evading a lot? That's because of the defense tactic dodge. She's small and so it just makes it even more annoying to fight her with that particular defense tactic because she's gonna evade. So what you see me doing here is I'm not finishing my combos. All right, so I got a chance. I got that fired off that uh, SP2 and we were able to get her down. But look at his health. You know, for a fight where I did not get hit, that is ridiculous. That, I do not like that at all. But we do have options. I just didn't have anyone better uh, to fight her. All right, so then I was asked to fight this Annihilus. Now, I don't like fighting Annihilus at all. Uh, you have to be able to uh, intercept. And like there, I got lucky. I caught him going back. You see how he goes unstoppable? Very easy to get into that unstoppable loop, get trapped in the corner and wrecked. But this time, I didn't. Uh, you can punish that SP1, as you see there, if you can evade it. It has a really funky timing. And see, I, I evaded it there too, but I do not always evade that. And don't ask me why he just dashed back instead of following up on the attack. I don't know. Uh, but we are doing a good job. I really thought that I was going to go down. Now, what happened there is what usually happens. You see this? Only because I put those bleeds on him. Otherwise, I was about to get wrecked. All right, so that's it for my fights for this war. Let's find out how we did. All right, 
And we're back. And as you can see, we lost this war. We are on a losing streak right now. We did not even get all of the bosses down. So that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.